Hello, hello, and welcome to the Three Up Moon live stream, everybody. My name is Matt, otherwise known as Three Up Moon, on Twitch and on YouTube. I want to welcome everyone to the stream. We're just doing a little late night Mario Kart Super Circuit. Just going to try and unlock some more tracks and beat my personal best in uh, a ton of the different cups. I'm aiming to just get a little bit better at this game and then increase the rank. Right now our highest rank is rank C, which is not great. Um, but this is a game I had a lot of nostalgic for, uh, or nostalgia for, sorry, and um, I had it on handheld and took it on many road trips with me, haven't played it in years. It's a perfect blend of Super Mario Kart on the SNES and Mario Kart 64 in my opinion. So let's dive in and see, uh, see if we can improve and uh, do a better performance today than we did earlier. earlier. If you're watching on the 3 Up Moon YouTube channel, consider clicking that subscribe button. All of my streams are uploaded there in full, and there's a full playlist for every single playthrough that we do. You can watch the first two parts of Mario Kart Super Circuit right there. dive in. Last part, we took on some of the extra tracks. <coughs> took on Extra Star Cup, which is uh, all tracks from Super Mario Kart from the SNES, but just reimagined in this game. Um, and yeah, there's Extra Special Cup, Extra Lightning Cup, Extra Flower Cup, Extra Mushroom Cup. Hey Al, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the lurk. Appreciate it. Let's go ahead and try Stark Up and try to improve that rank and get at least a rank C. get as many coins as possible and get first in every single every single race. Yes. 
Okay. Not bad. 30, 38 for the first track is okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to aim for 150 total across all four tracks, if possible. chose against Zelda. I decided to not to do Zelda yet. I'm gonna start tomorrow's stream at 1 p.m. Pacific with Zelda. My mindset is uh, <clears throat> a little more casual. I feel like I gotta use my brain more for, with, uh, with Zelda, so I decided to postpone the Zelda random. Welcome to the stream, Oosh. Decided to start the day tomorrow with some Link to the Past random, and hopefully, hopefully, basically beat it and get rid of uh, most of the dungeons. Because we've got two crystals and three pendants already. I think we have most of the items we need.
Yeah, not, not the best uh, performance. <laughs> hey, Mila. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Got the usual crew. Hope everyone's having an awesome night so far. Gonna be starting a few new games this week as well on the stream. I'm excited for that. We're gonna be continuing our Link to the Past rando tomorrow at Thirty coins is not bad. <laughs> you need to chill. Burn, burn grim with fire. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, rank D. Did I do this again? The race results were saved. I feel like I have to use Yoshi because he just controls the tightest, in my opinion. Let's try those four tracks one more time. I need to get first place in all of the tracks, and I need to get um, as many coins as possible. Thing I like about that. <clears throat> that was terrible performance. In fact, because we're so close, so close to the beginning, let's just start over one more time. What is everyone's favorite Mario Kart character? Yeah, the I'm digging Yoshi right now, but I usually usually favor Wario. Growing up, I was always playing playing as Wario, but I uh, hate the uh, heavy set characters in, in these games because they're really tough to, to control, like Bowser and DK. Even though I just po uh, I I would always pick Wario out of aesthetic, not out of the fact that it was my favorite to control. But, uh, yeah, definitely Yoshi for me. <clears throat> Toad and Yoshi and Metal Mario, nice. Metal Mario, it was available in Mario 
or DS and onwards, I think. How does he control any differently than Mario? Is it just a weight thing? Does he just become a, a heavy, heavy tier character? Yeah, a lot of people really like using Toad and Yoshi. DS on my DS. But no, I haven't played them in a very long time. Although there's a lot of really cool tracks from this game that were remade in Mario Kart DS, which I'm really stoked about. Tracks like Sky Garden. Some of the Bowser Castle levels have been remade in, in 3D as well. such mistakes with this. this level. Like silly mistakes. Let's see. I mentioned it before, but this music totally makes me think of Banjo Kazooie meets Super Mario RPG or Paper Mario. take on every single rainbow road together. That's awesome. That's a cool idea. Definitely a cool idea. Seven. Only 27 points, though, that's not really good. You uh, need to be getting like 35 to 40 each round, and it is possible to. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, that level normally gives us a lot of trouble, thanks for the GG. It normally gives us a lot of trouble. What are, you, what are you talking about, Chris? That's Yoshi. I know that guy. He owes me money. Why do you think he's driving away? Why do you think this guy's driving away? How's it going, Chris? Hope you're having a good 
night. Or I guess it's early morning for you. Just having a little fun, casual Mario Kart Super Circuit action. First place, perfect. Is this Super Nintendo Mario Kart? No, this is the <clears throat> Game Boy Advance game. It's Super Circuit, so it's, it basically is a blending of Mario Kart 64 and the Super Nintendo Super Mario Kart. And we actually have some levels from Super Mario Kart in this. I used to have this um, on my Game Boy Advance, played it a lot. It's a really, really cool blend. Though. 2001. So it's from a while ago. 20 years ago. <laughs> Crazy to think about. Yeah, I like these levels a lot. That They have that Super Mario World aesthetic. The music is as close to the Doom soundtrack that the Mario soundtrack is ever going to get. We're friends on, on, like, we have each other's friend codes. Chris, we can easily play each other, each other's levels, yeah. I have a whole super world, actually. My username is Basin Spectra, I think. B-A-S-I-N-S-P-C-T-R. But 100% down. I have a Switch capture card as well, so I can start doing some Switch. But I've just been streaming lots instead of figuring out how to get the settings to work properly on my Switch. Because I, I want to make sure that it's the perfect perfect setup and setting. Like, I, I don't want to have any lag, any input lag on my part or any lag in the video. So I want to make sure that it's 100% ready to go before we start streaming. But I'm going to start streaming some Mario Maker 2 with the levels that I've done. I have uh, 
tons of levels, yeah. In fact, Grimbomb was playing, was doing a uh, viewer level Mario Maker 2 stream the other day and played one of them. Yeah, you'd probably like endless mode, Chris. I'm still trying to beat my high score after two years uh, in endless mode, which is 33 levels, which means I've only been able to beat 33 levels before losing all my lives. That's my max. In easy mode, my high score is still the very first run I started in endless mode, and I, it's 2039. 2039 consecutive levels and I still have 99 lives. So there's a big difference between the difficulty. The difficulty jumps like crazy from just from easy to normal. It's not organized the best in my opinion, but really, really fun game. One of my favorite games on the Switch easily. Easily. Me and Michelle both play it and uh, yeah, I have a ton of levels. So when I stream it, I'm just going to really stream more than likely, I'm going to just be streaming my super world and show off my own levels if people want to, uh, to play them. And I'll stream me trying to beat my personal best in Endless Moon, which is still only 33. What's this 3D Mario bundle all about? Are they trying to, like, squeeze extra pennies out of the... Super Mario 3D All-Stars again? What's going on? What are y'all talking about? did a 30% sale on Mario games. Oh, interesting. On any Mario game on the Switch? Ah, uh, rank D again. Damn. Well, we're gonna have to try it. Keep going. Try Peach. We tried Toad already. Yoshi seems to be the one we need to use, but maybe Peach can help us. And we can get a few more, a few more coins, and uh, try to improve our rank at least to rank C would be nice. Mario Party, Mario Maker 2, Mario Tennis, and Luigi's Mansion. Cool. I feel like Luigi's Mansion might be the only one worth picking up on there besides Mario Maker 2. That's the new Luigi's Mansion 3. I love those games. Really fun. I've only played the first one and a lot of it, and uh, just a little bit of the 3DS one. So we just mentioned three is cool. Very cool. That's awesome. But yeah, Chris, I think you, you should be able to just uh, <clears throat> use my friend code. If you look at my friend code in your friends list. You should be able to just use my friend code to access my levels. Or is that a situation where... Grimbaugh might know. A situation where... Uh, I might need to send you the level codes. Which is to also totally fine. 
Definitely a bunch of these levels were remade for Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart 7. Yeah, Chris, a lot of my levels are themed levels where you have to get all 10 red coins, similar to a Super Mario 64 level. Um, and I have the maximum amount of levels, which I think is 100. I think there's a hundred levels up there. Or it might, it might be like 70 or something. It's pretty crazy. But all my levels are called 50 Coin Dash, and despite the name, it's, they're not speedrun levels. Um, they're just part of a series where you have to get all 10 50 coins and all 10 red coins in order to pass each level. So some of them are pretty big. I have some that are themed off of Super Mario Bros. 3. I have some that are based off of Super Mario Galaxy, actually, which are pretty cool. If you can't find me as Basin Spectra, so B A S I N S P C T R, then you might be able to find me as 3 other than.
Yoshi. And we got Bowser. Still only 29 coins. We could have got way more. There's tons of uh, tons of opportunities where we just drove right past him. That sucks. Super Mario World aesthetic here. This is awesome. All the levels aesthetically tie into all the the 2D Mario games up to this point, which is pretty sweet. Clearly tying into Yoshi's Island and Super Mario World 1, Mario 3. Choosing Peach was the right call. Rank C, that's what we're talking about. Choosing Peach was the right call. So we got 130, and that got us rank C. Maybe 150 is going to get us rank B. Nice, so we were able to Im improve our rank. That's awesome. A little bit of progress. That means I'm going to try to use Peach one more time. I'm going to try Special Cup, but try to improve that rank as well. Lakeside Park, this is a pretty cool level. So again, same thing, we're aiming for first in all four races, and we're aiming to get as many coins as possible. That's the goal here.
ていうか Thirty-two. That's good. That's a decent start. First, at thirty-two points. Nice. I love the ghost house levels in Mario Kart. Hate them in Mario World. Love them in Mario Kart. It's funny how that works. Seven kind of sucks for a coin number, but I, I gotta say I love this level. Pretty sweet one. Broken pier. Okay, you need my maker ID. Okay, I can find that for you. Let me just grab that one second. Sorry. Just so happen to have my switch right here so I can give you my maker profile. Okay. Oh, my maker ID. Okay.
How the heck do I find my maker ID? How does one find their maker ID? That is craziness. Characters to the left of my knee. Okay, well, that's silly. failing so hard at this one level. Specifically at this one level.
last second. The last second. Cool. So here's my maker ID, Chris. I'm just going to put it in the chat. If anyone else wants to check out my levels on Mario Maker 2, if you have it, feel free. I'll be doing a stream of these levels very soon. You can actually play my course world, Chris. I put together a six world mini mini map sort of overworld where you can actually take on all 40 of my courses that I've uploaded. I've only uploaded the ones that are 50 coin dash theme ones. So they're all part of the same the same series. This is one of my favorite Rainbow Roads, I have to say. After playing this earlier today, it's got a huge Paper Mario inspiration. It looks a lot like Star Haven with the falling star sprites. It's got a great version of that Rainbow Road music. And we have Bowser's Castle carrying Princess Peach's stolen castle. Paper Mario. The original Paper Mario 64 in the background. Pretty cool.
sucks. Rainbow Road's gonna give us this much trouble. try with peach let's try the extra cups specifically the extra star cup which we were able to get this is four tracks from the original super nintendo super mario kart remade and re-envisioned in the style of mario kart super circuit we did it last stream with yoshi so let's give it a shot with peach Super Circuit. <laughs> Thank you so much for the host and the rate. I appreciate it. We are currently taking on the second track of the Extra Star Cup. And all the extra cups in Mario Kart Super Circuit are revamped, remade versions of tracks from the original Super Nintendo Super Mario Kart. My name is Matt, for those that don't know who I am, otherwise known as 300. I stream retro games and randomizers of retro games and old school RPGs every single day from 1pm Pacific onward. You can tune in every day then, you can give the channel a follow, and it'll let you know when, uh, when and what I'm streaming next. Oh nice, Dinosaur Land is a great one. Nice. Thank you for the follow, Exceed. Chris, that's awesome. Uh, I actually created that level on 420-2020. Oh, nice. In Asteria and Rider Streams. Nice. Right on. I was hanging out in Asteria's channel today. I was playing some alien-themed Doom, which was really fun. 
And speaking of Doom, this is like the most Doom-like Mario Kart music we're ever gonna hear. It's the closest to Doom music. So we've been trying to improve our rank for the stream, um, and in order to do that, you have to get first place, obviously, in every single race. But you also need to get as many coins as possible and hold on to them. Now this is just for this this run right now. We're just having some fun with it. But earlier I was really trying to improve our rank, and we were able to in, in one of the cups, the Star Cup, to go from rank D to rank C. Not like you know, we're not trying to get rank A or anything yet. We're just uh, I haven't played this game for a very long time. A very nostalgic game for me, but I have not played in years. It came out in 2001. Just to put it into context, it's a pretty funny, funny thing. You know? I do really like these remade uh, levels, though. The ones that are from Super Mario Kart actually have five laps instead of three. More than likely, it's because they're they're shorter tracks, smaller tracks in general, but really, really fun. And the remixes of the music. Or just as fun. Tomorrow I'm going to be playing more of my Link to the Past randomizer run, which I started a couple days ago. And we'll do a little more Super Mario World randomize, where all the levels and items are shuffled, the enemies are shuffled, that sort of thing. Like I said, I stream every single day at 1 p.m. Pacific. You can always catch me on here. Maybe we're playing a ROM hack, maybe we're playing a fan game. Maybe we're revisiting Final Fantasy IX if it's Friday. Every Friday I do Final Fantasy Fridays as well on the channel. And we've done Earthbound and Final Fantasy IX so far in terms of RPGs. But our next one will be Paper Mario for the N64. Plus I've been starting a co-op stream that I've been doing with my partner on on, uh, on stream of Mario Golf 64. We're going to be playing through through that game, trying to get good at it, and trying to uh, trying to unlock more courses. We're also going to be playing some Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. Yeah, all all really fun games. You earn moonstones and channel points in the in the chat. You can do things like redeem them for rewards to remind me to hydrate, remind me to check my posture, to unlock my three up and three up moon emotes, which are available for all tier one subscribers. You can modify them as well for 24 hours, and you can also name a character in any RPG that we play or name a Pokemon, redeeming points. But one of my favorite things, which is going to be starting this Sunday, this Sunday evening, 6:30 p.m. Pacific is the viewer request nights. You can save up Moonstones and request any Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, SNES, or Genesis game for me to play. And we've already got four on the list, four platformers for the SNES, um, a few that I've played a long time ago and a few recently. A couple that I haven't played, actually come to think of it. We've got Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage, Mickey Mania on SNES, The Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse, and Tasmania. So two Looney Tunes themed platformers and two Disney themed platformers. Suggested by Stegosaurus McCartney and Grimbaum in the chat. so much for the raid. The 
amount of time you're spending looking at mods right now is ridiculous. What kind of mods? What kind of mods are you talking about? Now, I play a lot of Super Mario World ROM hacks. And uh, I really like when games are modded like that or hacked. Um, I'm sure there's a really awesome Super Mario or Super Mario Kart ROM hack out there. I know that they exist. There used to be a track editor back in the ROM hacking forums back in the day. I know that there's, there's a few, there's got to be a few out there hacks with custom tracks of the original Super Mario Kart. Perhaps someone's even attempted making their own levels in this. Ooh, Stardew Valley. Perfect. So Mila, I was just talking about how I'm trying to get my Switch capture card preferences going, and I want to make sure that it's seamless, that there's you know, the best possible quality for people video-wise and audio-wise, and also for myself when I'm playing. And I've been getting delay recently on my Switch, but some of the games that I'm going to be playing on the Switch are Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Maker 2, which uh, Chris in the chat was just talking about how he just picked it up, and Stardew Valley. As soon as I get that set up, Sunday at 1pm are specifically going to be our sort of de-stressing, relaxing streams. Um, it'll be in, within the next month I'll start doing it. Right now I just stream at 1 anyways, but we'll be doing sort of themed games where I'm going to be playing um, Stardew Valley will start a brand new farm, and I'm going to be playing games that de that I usually use to de-stress. So, Stardew Valley, Yoshi's Cookie, Tetris DX on the Game Boy Color, I really like uh, old school puzzle games. Kirby's Avalanche, which is essentially a Puyo Puyo clone, which is a really fun, uh, fun puzzle game as well. And we might also do Mario's Picross, which is a, a Game Boy puzzle game as well. Really, really fun, relaxing game. Um, I actually don't mind. The first time I played got rank E, that's terrible. <laughs> um, Mila, you're asking um, about the controls for the Stardew Valley on the Switch. I really don't mind them. Um, the first time I played it, I was kind of, I felt like they were off, a little, a little iffy, but I just got the uh, recent updates that, that they put out on the Switch. And I really enjoy it, actually. I started off the first time I played it was at my cousin's house, and I played the Steam version. Uh, let's try to one more time at, at this one to try and increase our our rank here. But I did get used to the Switch controls for Stardew Valley over time. I love that game, though. Fantastic game. Yeah, totally. Being able to mod the game is huge. So what sort of mods are you looking at when you're talking about Stardew Valley? Like, what sort of things do you end up modding in the game? Oh no! You have Stardew Valley and it's on your Switch and you're trying to figure it out. What exactly is the appeal? Everyone play, plays it. I know it has to be good. You just don't understand. Honestly, what it is, is it, it's a game that forces you to slow down. Like, this game right now is the complete opposite. Constantly on the edge. When I play randomizers, at least this is my appeal to the game, when I play randomizers or I play retro games, I like to do hard modes or play a lot of hard retro games. Um, so, it really keeps me on my toes, and it's really, really high-end, high-speed. Um, honestly, the game itself, it just evokes a lot of nostalgia to playing um, Harvest Moon, Chrono Trigger, um, Animal Crossing. The very first time I played Animal Crossing. It's such a fun game, and it's one of those things that, uh, this is, look what happened. We gotta restart. It's such a fun game, but yeah, the, um, the game itself, um, because it requires you to seasonally live day by day, and it's kind of in pseudo real time, and it's also really relaxing, and the growth in the game is slow, it really, uh, for me, it's a really rewarding game. Uh, it's, it's a game I can kind of turn my mind off and like choose, like, oh, am I going to do some gardening today, or am I going to go do some mining? It's got a lot of, like, maybe I want to battle some monsters in, it, in like a roguelike style dungeon. Okay, I'll go do that. 
It's got a lot of options, a lot of variety, and it also uh, it speaks to something that a lot of people these days uh, feel, which is a disconnect to their food, a disconnect to where their food is coming from. Um, the music is fantastic. It was all created by one person. Um, really, there's so many reasons to, to praise that game. Um, and for some people, if you're not into that style of game, if you're not into simulator games, if you're not into relationship simulators or farming games, or even the aesthetic of like, a Super Nintendo style game, like pixel art style, you may not like it. It might be, you might not give it the, the chance that that you should. But yeah, it's a really, it's a fun game. It, it might grow on you. No pun intended because of the whole farm aesthetic. But for me, it's really relaxing. Really fun game. There's not a lot of those simulation games that I do find relaxing or that I do enjoy as much as uh, Stardew Valley. second. There's a fishing mod. Interesting. That's intriguing. That's all I see is fishing mod in, in the bottom corner. The fishing is real tough in uh, the, the vanilla fishing in Sturdy Valley is really, really tough. But if you're used to like fishing in Animal Crossing, I mean, that's some of the easiest things you're ever going to do in any video game. Just press A when you see a little exclamation mark. So I get it. They wanted to add some skill to it. 39 coins, first place, perfect. Clean, clean, clean. The fishing mod is going to be nice for you with how hard it is to play games in general for me lately. So it's very therapeutic in the, in the same way it would be if you were simply working on something else, like something in the house. It could be like if you were drawing or if you were programming a game or if you just kind of didn't, you know, if you're not paying attention to the game you're playing like honestly any game that you can kind of zone out in for some people it's super mario for some people it's zelda uh, for some people it is like a high octane racing game for some people they are just able to like relax that way i don't know like in terms of zoning out when you're playing a game there's just a certain zen state that you can reach when you play starting that way in my opinion that i can reach sorry this is the best way to put it. I love this level, but it's also stressful. Really cool aesthetic in this level. But sometimes the fish gets away. That's hilarious. It's tricky. Lost a ton of coins there. Come on, let's do this. Grimbomb as well. Still made first. Not a lot of coins though. We lost a bunch from those ghosts. It's not that easy. You easily racked up the hours in it and never really noticed. Yeah, see that's that's a cool um, that's a sign of a good a, a game that's very like zen, you know? You don't realize that you're playing that much of it. Um, that's Mario Maker 2 for me. Got a lot of hours in Mario Maker 2. 
making and also playing levels. Chris, if you're still uh, still hanging out, how are you liking the level so far? Should have seen just a few minutes ago how we were taking on remakes of the we were in the extra star cup not just the star cup the extra star cup right now we're in special special cup um, extra star cup is for super mario kart for snes tracks that are remade in the style of this this game and this game honestly mario kart super circuit really really cool blend in my opinion of the Mode 7 Super Nintendo graphics of Super Mario Kart, and all the charm and aesthetic from the 2D Mario games up to this point. There's a lot of really cool, we've got Mega Koopas, um, the gates from Super Mario World Castles, a lot of really cool references that entrench and tie these levels aesthetically into the Mario universe like up to this point. Super Mario Bros. 1 through 3 and World, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like the perfect blend between Super Mario World and Mario Kart 64, in my opinion. There's a lot of Paper Mario references here, just within the uh, Rainbow Road. We've got Bowser's Castle lifting up uh, Peach's Castle from Paper Mario. We're going to see Star Spirits here. This almost should be Star Haven instead of Rainbow Road, as I mentioned earlier. But great game. Really, really fun game music, especially this track. I highly recommend playing this game, Al, if you've never played it before. It's a really great one. It's got a super funky soundtrack. For me, it's a must-have if you have a Game Boy Advance. Hey, Rafay, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Just seeing your message now in the chat. Hope you're doing well. Sounds weird, but Monster Hunter has always been your Zen game. Well, I could see that. I could totally see how that's a Zen game. Absolutely. me on Sundays, soon once I get my, my Switch preferences all set up, and honestly when I just finally stop streaming long enough to, uh, because I stream every single day, 
uh, once I stop streaming long enough to take some time to fiddle around with the settings and give you the perfect video and audio experience for my Switch streaming, then we'll start doing Stardew Valley Sundays in the morning. And viewer request Sundays are starting this Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific. So earn those Moonstones, bank them, and uh, for 5,000 Moonstones you can suggest any game from Game Boy, game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, SNES, or Sega Genesis. I've got four on the list so far, so it's going to be a pretty fun Looney Tunes and Disney-themed platformer night this Sunday. But feel free to suggest any game. I'm super down to try anything. last Mario Kart you ever played was on the GameCube. Oh, nice. So I spent a lot of time with Super Mario Kart on SNES. I had this and spent banked hours in this game. Um, and then I also spent a lot of time playing Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart Wii with my cousins. Um, they had the games and I would go over and play them. Um, so I know those games in a more communal, more social sense, I would say. So, I really, really like those games. My favorite has to be, honestly, this and Mario Kart Double Dash and Mario Kart 64. Those are my favorites. I spent a lot of time with Mario Kart Double Dash, and I will be streaming Mario Kart Double Dash on, this, on the channel, the GameCube version. Just like we're doing this, we're going to eventually dive into some casual Double Dash as well. This is, a, this is a, a tough level, I would say. But Rainbow Road is usually a pretty tough level in, in most of the games. It's usually the final level that you take on. And so, there's no Mario Kart 6. I think Mario Kart 6 would just be considered Mario Kart DS. They started using numbers because they got lazy, in my opinion. But Mario Kart DS is, is amazing. There's a lot of the tracks from this game that have been remade in 3D on that one. I love that one. Mario Kart 7 is sort of, in my mind, Mario Kart DS 2. Um, it feels like a real sequel. And it has a lot of really cool retro tracks that are remade in full 3D. I highly recommend either of those. I've never played Mario Kart 8. The deluxe or the eight, you know Super Mario Kart 8 Hyper Turbo Fighter 2 Arcade Edition. There's like a million different versions of it. <laughs> but no, I haven't played that. But a lot of people praise it. Yeah, nice. I'm glad you're able to hang out while you're at work and chill. Great to have you, Feline. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining that raid. You can usually hear. Nice. It's pretty much just watch monitors all day. So one extra monitor to watch Twitch is pretty manageable. Nice. Are you planning on any streaming today or tomorrow, Rathe? Try this one more time. Is it gonna give us one more chance? Or just knock us right out? Yeah, one more chance. Come on. We're failing here. Big time. Okay, let's try this. Let's give this rainbow a road a run for its money. It makes sense to you. be streaming Switch, um, but no, I'm, I do a lot of randomizers, so it requires me to shuffle things around, so I, I use OpenMU as my main thing right now. 
So I play uh, stuff like Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World, Link to the Past, all randomized. We started a run of Pokemon Leaf Green randomized. And also Pokemon Stadium 2 on N64 randomized. I don't have a way to capture my N64 right now, so I just use the emulation at the moment. And like I said, once I get the Switch going, we'll have a few regular Switch games. Also, one of the RPGs I'm going to be playing on the channel down the line is Breath of Fire 2 on the Switch. It's available for the SNES online uh, app, which is really sweet. Link to the Past you recently streamed. It would be really cool on Randomizer. I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. So what it's done is it's turned the game into an open world game. So we still start in Link's house. I'm actually going to be continuing my first playthrough of it tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific. But we still start at, at Link's house. Um, I've randomized my character to be the bandit from Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. And all the items in the, in the chest have been shuffled around. The bosses are randomized, so I've actually taken on a Moldorm about three times. The enemies are randomized, uh, the amount of health that the enemies do to you is shuffled around. And because it's open world mode, you start in Link's house, but you don't have to save Zelda first. You can choose to go anywhere, I decided to go to Kakariko Village first. Um, but all the chests on both overworlds are shuffled around. It's really, really fun to play. I highly recommend it. I watch a lot of people do tournaments of Link to the Past Randomizer. If you don't know it already, definitely check out Speed Gaming on Twitch or YouTube. Really, really cool channel. I'm going to be entering some tournaments eventually of Super Mario Bros. 3 and Link to the Past Randomizer. But there's all sorts of different modes involved with it. Highly recommend it. You'll probably be streaming Deep Rock Galactic tomorrow. Nice. Rathe and Rathe, you're going to be doing some Mega Man X2. I saw you were streaming that today or earlier. And you have to practice for a Final Fantasy IX Excalibur 2 run. What is an Excalibur 2 run of Final Fantasy IX? I'm currently playing Final Fantasy IX every Friday. We're just about to fight Kuja outside of the Ifa tree. Very curious. The ears have perked up for sure. Feline Soul, what about the items in Link to the Past Randomizer? Are they randomized to the point that you always get what you need? Uh, no, the, the randomizer has a logic to it, so you can't really get soft locked. Uh, you can ensure that 100% of the items are accessible, or you can ensure that 100% of the locations are, are accessible. But uh, it, does, it does ensure that there's no soft locking. At least it tries its best to. Man X2, yep, Al, you were just streaming Man Zero 2 on your channel, which is pretty awesome. Mila, I agree. Two monitors definitely comes in handy for sure. Let's hang out and watch these credits. Once you beat Special Cup. You always get these credits with this really funky music. You, uh, you forgot everything? You forgot everything I'm assuming about Mega Man X? Oh, hey all. Feline Soul, thank you so much for that. <laughs> much appreciated. Thank you for the 100 bits. Cheers. Yeah, the song in this in this end credit section is pretty cool. It doesn't get heard that often. So. I really appreciate that. Well, I think what I'm going to do is actually... Speaking of Zelda randomizers, tomorrow I'm going to be um, kicking into... Continuing my Link to the Past Randomizer at 1 p.m. Pacific. Hope to see most of you there. I want to say thank you again to Legend of Figaro for uh, for the, the raid and to Grimbomb for 
from hosting. Um, Grimbomb is actually streaming right now, and he's doing a randomizer run of linked, uh, sorry, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, uh, which is pretty crazy that you can actually randomize that. There's lots of games that you can randomize and shuffle around. So let's share the love and head over to Grimbomb's channel and see what Yoshi's doing. Uh, maybe drop a follow if you can. If you're not following my channel already, uh, give the channel a follow. It lets you know when and what I'm streaming next. If you're watching on YouTube after the fact, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, the 3 of YouTube channel. All my streams are posted there in full. You can watch my other two Mario Kart streams and every one of uh, the runs that I've done in uh, a randomizer or otherwise. Oh, nice. Yeah, Al, Al you were doing a lot of uh, the Mega Man X collection recently. That's right. That's really, really cool. I will definitely see you in Grimm's chat, for sure. And Rathe, the strongest weapon in Final Fantasy IX requires that you get to the final dungeon in, in under 12 hours. Interesting. So you don't get it, Excalibur 2, unless you get to the final dungeon in 12 hours. That's insane. That definitely is not happening with our semi-blind play playthrough that's happening on my channel every, uh, every Friday. That's so funny. The Zero games are also really awesome. They have an incredible animation and feel. Uh, the main character just feels like it has such good flow. And for an action game, it's exactly what you need. Yeah, I saw, Al, that you finished X and then MMX 03. Which is pretty cool. Well, I want to say thank you again to everyone. Thanks so much to Feline Soul for those bits. You really didn't have to. I'd really appreciate it. Hope to see everyone else um, tomorrow for the stream. We're going to be doing some Link to the Past and some Super Mario World Randomized. Stick around and show Grim Bomb some love. Take care, everyone.